six 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 and I like doing DVD reviews and it's been a long time since I've done a DVD review. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna get into it and I do have a lot of reviews coming up. My computer shit out on me, so I got a new computer now, it looks it looks very fresh. Um I look very appealing. Uh when I look at myself right now I'm looking right at myself. I'm not looking at the I'm not looking at that. I look at myself. Anyway, so I got some movies from MVD, Clint, man, I apologize for taking so long for you and shit. He thinks I'm a douchebag, pretty much, so you gotta go tell him I'm not. Uh, which I kinda am, but whatever. Uh, first one is, uh, Caesar and Otto's Deadly Xmas. Uh, okay, this is a, this is a cheesy flick. You know, I figured I would dig it. Um, it's, it, I enjoyed it for the most part. Basically what you got is Caesar and Otto, they live in New York, uh, they're like half-brothers or something like that. It's kind of like a Laurel and Hardy type thing, except for like Caesar, he, he, I don't know, his voice just, it irritated the piss out of me, so, I don't know. Um, anyway, it's like skinny guy and a fat guy, um, you know, kind of going slapstick. Uh, what the story's about is they're like getting together this Thanksgiving dinner, and they got all these people and trying to invite over. Uh, nobody turns out to show up for the Thanksgiving dinner. And, and uh, <laughs> these my reviews suck. Now I know I don't do them. Um, Thanksgiving dinner. They got a list of people. Nobody came. And they also work at this, uh, they work for like, uh, what is it, Xmas Enterprises, I think. Yeah. Xmas Enterprises, and they play, like, uh, Caesar plays Santa, and Otto's, like, an elf, and they work over there, and, and one of the workers that work over there, another Santa, he gets a list of people that were invited to the Thanksgiving dinner, and he starts killing them one by one, and so, like, you got, you know, everybody running around, you got a little bit of blood in this one, not too much, I mean, there's blood and stuff, but it's, it, this is basically, like, more comedy, you know what I mean, like, when the comedy outweighs the horror, and sometimes I like that. With this one, I thought it was, I thought it was all right, you know. It's, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this one now, this one, uh, yeah. Sang by Riara. I think I said that right. What do you think? No. Um, <clears throat> this, this, it's, it says, Avant-Garde Adventures of a Vampire. Uh, I, th I figured this one would be pretty cool, you know, I like, you know, I figured it'd be maybe along the lines of, like, something weird, like a racer head or something like that, you know, but this movie's just weird, uh, it's 50 minutes long, so it's a pretty short watch, um, you know, you, it, it's, this chick, she's, like, half vampire, half human, and, uh, at the beginning of the movie, like, her boyfriend's, they're in a library or some shit, and he's, telling her like some story about an old vampire that supposedly is on a bolt and he came to Japan and you know he's like I don't know he's in hibernation or something until something tickles his fancy and she's the one to tickle his fancy vampire starts coming out uh, there's a vampire family that gets hooked up with her you know she can't keep her bloodlust away from her boyfriend it's a really like there's a story in there but it just goes, I don't know, maybe I'm just a dumbass, but it just kind of went way too, like, artsy, arty farty for me. Uh, it did have some really cool looking shots and shit, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a piece of trash or nothing like that, it does have some really cool looking shots, and I think people into, like, weird avant-garde shit should check it out, because, I mean, it's, it's not terrible or anything, I just, I, I don't know, it's not my kind of thing. And then I got this one, this was, uh pretty fucking awesome, Hate Crime, uh, James, uh, uh, Brissac, I, I don't know why I had to look at that, I've been talking, I've talked to that guy on Facebook, James Brissac, but, uh, yeah, Hate Crime, this one is about, it's a found footage, well, kind of found footage, anyway, basically what it's about, it starts out, uh, you got, like, this kid having a birthday party, it's just a family, you know, they're in their house, and, uh, daddy's gonna record it just to, you know, capture them memories, and all of a sudden, you know, like, they put the camera down for a second, and he has to go get something, and then you hear screaming and all this other shit, and these dudes break in. They're Nazis, and the people that they're having a birthday party, they're Jewish. So, of course, the Nazis don't like the Jewish family, 
and uh, yeah, they terrorize them. You're gonna see, like, in this movie, you're gonna see, like, mommy get raped in front of, you know, whole family, including young doctor and, and you know, little sister. You're gonna see a young boy get killed. You're gonna see a young boy get uh, marionetted around, like, weekend at Bernie's, you know? Uh, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a kid get uh, a swastika burned into his face. You're gonna see an eyeball get ripped out. Uh, you know, another thing that surprised me about this movie is, you know, they get a hold of the people's cameras, so they're gonna film the whole thing on tape. But it really isn't that shaky, you know. Usually with shit like this, you get real shaky cam and stuff like that. This kept it really smooth. I mean, it, it was shaky when it needed to be, so it didn't look too much like a movie. I, I think all the actors did a pretty damn good job, uh, and I, you know, they were believable, they were nuts, you know, they're sitting there like, they have drugs on them the whole time, and they're just going balls out, just like having a good old time with these people, but, really cool movie, it was a really fun movie, it's a good watch, I, I recommend that son of a bitch. And then, uh, we got Phantomorphos, Phantomorphos, whatever, it means like skin rot or something like that. Uh, this one is, uh, starts out, it's got this chick living in, uh, her little flat, and, uh, yeah, she's got this boyfriend, this big douchebag, he just comes over there and rams her every now and then and leaves, and she feels kind of empty inside, and, uh, so, you know, he's just doing her and leaving, and she's, like, not feeling fulfilled, and she just goes walking around the house naked, like, 90% of the movie, so you're gonna see a lot of tits and pussy, you might even see somebody's dick in there! I, there is a dick in there, so if you don't look at it, it's in there. Um, there's a dick in here. Where was I? Uh, yeah, so anyway, she's screwing her, she's leaving, she's whatever, sad, wow, wow, crybaby. And, uh, also on top of that, like, she tries to have a party with her friends there, and the landlord comes, kicks them out, and just, everything's just kind of shitty. It's going shitty for her. Uh... And she wakes up and she starts rotting. She, different shit starts happening. Like her fingernails start falling off. She has to rip them out. You know, shit like that. You know, she starts getting all these bruises on her and bed sores. And, uh... That, you know, there were some pretty cool gore parts in this. I did enjoy that. Uh, honestly, though, for me... And I know a lot of people dig this movie. I'm not, you know... I, if you want to go check it out, you should. Because it is a, it's a cool for what it is. I thought it took way too long to get certain places because I have ADD so maybe that's it I'll blame it on myself um, so it's it's a slow burn you know what I mean and it's all takes place in pretty much one one location that's her apartment and I don't know I just didn't feel like enough happened you know it just I mean it's it's it, it's how fucking long is this it's a hundred minutes I think they could have did this in 70 and it, I, I may, I think I probably would have enjoyed it a whole lot more if it was like 70 minutes long. It's just a little too long, a little drawn out. Great looking shots, good, good acting, good gore. You know, check it out. It, it's not that bad. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, so that was just some MVD stuff I got. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make this shit short, man. You don't watch my ass all day talking shit. Uh, but I got a lot of independent stuff, and, uh, you know, for those of you that are into, into supporting independent horror and stuff like that, there's a Facebook group, um, it's, uh, Farmer Vincent, uh, this is his Facebook name on there, uh, he's got a, he's got a page called Beneath the Underground, and, uh, he's doing a lot of cool shit with it, like, at first it was just, you know, a group would go into and talk horror, you know, on independent directors and shit, and they would come in there and promote the movies, and it was cool. And now he's stepping it up, he's getting, he's getting, he's actually going to be releasing DVDs and shit, and it looks like it's going to be a really cool thing, I'm, I'm excited for him, you know, he's trying to get the word of mouth out, so yeah, go support him, Farmer Vincent, just like Motel Hell, go look him up, talk to him if you want to, you know, send him naked pictures of your grandmother, uh, you know, just whatever you'd like to do, you know, if you want to jack off on the web, <laughs> no, don't do that, I'm just kidding, um, so first off, I'm just going to go ahead and talk, uh, <laughs> Jesus, I stall. I'm just going to say, um, these are some shit, this is some, <laughs> damn it, it's not shit. I, I hope you don't get offended. None of this is shit. Uh, I'm, this is a few movies I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm half tired, I've been up all night. These are a few movies I'm going to be reviewing in the near future, uh, <laughs> since I got a new computer, 
Um, this is Matt Jaisal's uh, next movie, you know, Necrophiles, uh, Dead City, uh, those classics. I love those movies. This is new movies, Revolution 666, and it's a, it's a fun one, man. I'll be I'll be reviewing that one soon. And then I got uh, uh, Joaquin Montalban. Montalban. God damn it, I hope I said that right, Joaquin. He's a cool guy, man. He hooked me up. Uh, this is a... I want to just go ahead and review some of these right now, I swear. But I'm going to make it short, I promise. I'll be reviewing this. This is a damn good movie. I fucking enjoyed the shit out of it. But I'll be reviewing that one soon. Uh, and then I got Dante Tomaselli's Torture Chamber. Good dude, man. He sent me a lot of stuff. Just talking to him and corresponding with him. He sent me all those, you know, he signed a bunch of promos and stuff. Sent them to me. Real nice guy. Real nice guy. He's in it for the right reasons. So, I'm excited to check that out. I haven't watched that one yet. Then I got Junk Bucket. They sent me the second one, but, uh, it doesn't work. So, I can't review that song box. But, uh, this first one, this is another really fun just retarded cheesy movie it's it's damn good marcus cook uh got cult movie mania those motherfuckers been putting out some you know, well hey they ain't been putting out a lot of shit lately but when they do it's fucking quality so this is marcus's uh if, if you know marcus cook you know he's been doing effects and he kicks ass at effects He's doing a bunch of shit lately. You, you may know him for 100 Tears. You may know him from the movie Fell. Which, if you haven't checked out the movie Fell, go buy it. It's it's awesome. I'm telling you, I've recommended that shit like a billion times. Rot, this movie kicks ass. This is what he made when he was 18 years old. Bunch of punk rocker friends he had. Just like Hank, you know, decided to make a movie. And it's fucking, it's really fun. It's got Joel Weinkoop. B-movie king, Joel Weinkoop. It's just a good time. I'll talk about that later. Then I got Swamphead. This movie was fucking awesome too. This is uh, Briarwood Entertainment. Uh, you know, Justin Prod and D D Dustin Drover. D D D D D D. But anyway, that's it for now. I will. I promise I'll be reviewing those soon. There's probably other stuff I gotta be reviewing. I've got such a list of stuff and I'm an asshole and my computer was a piece of shit. I got a new one now, so quit crying. Here we go. Bye, baby.